Today we're going to be reviewing Brooklyn Deli Hot Sauce. Welcome to Spice Reeks, where we test everything spicy so you know what to buy. Today we've got Brooklyn Deli Hot Sauce. Now, it says that this is a uh, kind of a South Indian style hot sauce. Looking at the label here, it's kind of a cool label. There's a lot going on. It says Brooklyn Deli hot sauce. There's kind of this illustration of all these chilies that are kind of in the, in the, uh, in the shape of flame, which is kind of neat. It says slow burn. That should be fun. No added sugar. Gunter Sanam pepper. Not sure if I said that correctly, but I'm sure somebody will correct me. Smoky Indian chilies, tangy tomato, sweet garlic, try it on, samosas, eggs, curry, tacos, pizza, wings, cheese, Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary, that sounds like actually that might not be a bad idea. Turn over the label here, we've got some nutrition facts, ingredients, tomatoes, water, tomato paste, vinegar, sunflower oil, sesame oil, garlic, Gunther Sanam, chili peppers, salt, ground red chili peppers, tamarind, black mustard seeds, black pepper, fenugreek seeds, turmeric, asafetida, asafetida. Not sure if I said that right either. Distributed by Brooklyn Deli LLC, Brooklyn, New York. So we've got a New York hot sauce here. And they have a little paragraph here. It says, flavorful heat. A unique hot sauce featuring single origin heirloom Gunter Sanam chili peppers from South India. Along with slow cooked tomatoes, sweet garlic, tangy tamarind fruit, and the umami rich Indian spice, Esafetida. Brooklyndeli.com. Uh, and they've got a bunch of social media uh, icons here. Let's go ahead and let, you know, let's remove this label so we can get a better look at the consistency through the actual bottle. We can even get this off of here. Very well packaged. No one will be messing with your hot sauce before you buy it. All right, so, ooh, yeah, look at this, okay. So this is this looks like it's one of those. It's kind of a little thicker. See how it kind of separates here on the bottom, and and um, let's see. We got to give it a nice little shake here. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay. So yes, this is definitely on the thicker side. It looks pretty pureed, but it's not as pureed as as some of the other ones um, that we've reviewed. You can see, and I'm assuming that this is probably the tomatoes. They're kind of um, like coagulating and kind of sticking in little clumps on the side there. You can see, uh, I don't know if you can see bigger chunks of spices and seeds and things in there too. Well, let's open it up. Okay, ooh. Ooh, oh yeah, oh man. That is rich, it's a rich like Indian smell. The, the tomatoes are very forward. You can definitely smell tomatoes. Um, I don't know, look, look here, can you see that? It's uh, there's a giant chunk of blockage right there. Let's see, sorry. There we go. There we go, kind of broke it up, broke it up. Let's, uh, let's give it another shake. Okay, let's see if we can't clear that out and, uh, and actually get some like sauciness. Okay, I think I think this will work. So, oh yeah, super super thick. Definitely. Uh, oh yeah, see that's just it's it's kind of dolloping out. Wow. Oh yeah. Yes, it's a little chunkier than I thought. Um, you can see that it looks. It almost looks like it has kind of a consistency of like a pasta sauce or something. Um, you can you can tell there's there. I think there's some oil in there. I think it said yep. You can you can you can see the oil glistening, and you can you can see it also. It's it's kind of sliding on the oil. So I'm assuming there's a, actually quite a probably quite a bit of oil in there. Let's do a teaspoon test. Let's take this thing down and see what we're working with. Whoa! It's so it's so strange. I okay. So, I can taste the tomato, very tomato forward. Um, it almost it almost has like a marinara sauce uh, kind of flavor to it. But then there, you get those kind of like um, you know those like Indian kind of spices in the background, and then the the, the heat. They're right about the slow burn. It, it, it didn't hit you immediately, but I can feel it, um, and it's not super hot. It's not super spicy, but I can feel 
that there's this kind of tingle in the back of my mouth. It's, it's actually really nice. It's a nice tingle. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, those, those peppers are, they're good. You can taste the black pepper in there too. It's actually really, really good. I think you could put this on like breakfast food easily. If you like ketchup on your eggs or something like that or salsa on your eggs, this would actually probably be both consistency wise and flavor wise really great. I would put this, I would put this all over pizza, man. This would be a good pizza one for me. They say wings, you could try wings. I think it actually might be pretty nice. That heat though, here, here we go. It's been a like, couple minutes. The heat is definitely coming in. Still not, still not super spicy, but it's there. And I imagine that this is one of those sauces where you keep eating it and, and it just builds on itself. And, and eventually you're just gonna be sitting there kind of sweating. I, I love it. I think it's fantastic. I think it's versatile. I think this one's a versatile one that you could get away, get away with using on a lot of different things. As far as a heat rating goes on this, I think I'm gonna give it a five. It doesn't blow your mouth out, uh, but the heat is there. I think for flavor, I'm gonna rate this guy a seven. It's not, it's not the very, very best flavorful thing I've had. There is so much flavor in it though, and it's very interesting flavor. I think for my taste, a little too tomato forward. As far as an overall rating, I think I'd give this a six. Uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share the video. That's it guys, that's all we got for today. Um, I'll see you in the next video.